All right, everyone, here's a quick look at the new catch church key. Um, the church key is a three-in-one crab and lobster gauge. And as you can see here, there are gauges for uh, Dungeness crab, lobster, and rock crab. There's also a bottle opener and a hole for a lanyard. And it looks like it's made of uh, one eighth inch stainless steel uh, compared to the very popular Promar gauge, which is made of aluminum. And uh, the one issue I have with this aluminum gauge is it bends very easily. Um, I use this on my kayak and I'll step on it or new on it um, every so often and I'll, I'll actually bend one of these. And when they do bend, um, they may not be accurate anymore. You may actually cheat yourself a bit because they'll run a little bit smaller than the actual. So with this new stainless uh, gauge, there's no way this is going to bend. Um, so it, it should last much longer, it should be more accurate. All right, so here's another look. All right, and if you're wondering how to properly measure a lobster, um, you're going to want to measure the carapace, which is the head from here to, to here, so this head here. You're going to want to put your gauge at the very tip of, uh, between the horn. So don't, don't go down too deep, because if you go down deep, uh, it's gonna read a little bit wider than it should. So right at the tip. And if the gauge doesn't fall um, through the carapace or the carapace doesn't fall through the gauge, um, that's a legal lobster. So as you can see here, the gauge doesn't fall through. And if it does fall through or it does fit through like that, and there's no wiggle room, technically that's three and a quarter and it's legal. Now, if there's any movement or any wiggle room, that's a short lobster and that's not a legal lobster. However, I do want to warn you, um, I've talked to you at least four or five uh, game wardens and I've asked them what the proper way to measure a lobster and I've actually gotten three different answers. Um, most of them have said that if it fits through with no wiggle room, um, that's a borderline legal, but it is legal because it's exactly three and a quarter. But I've also had several that said if it falls through, regardless if there's wiggle room or not, that's a short lobster. So these guys aren't even on the same page. So just um, be careful with those. Um, I, I would recommend that if it does go through, regardless of wiggle room or not, Throw those back, those are very borderline. Um, and depending on which warden checks you, and they do check you very often, they may ticket you, and that could be, uh, you know, that could be a $500 ticket. Um, definitely not worth keeping. Um, so, hope that helps. And again, um, right at the very tip, if it doesn't fall through, perfectly legal. If it falls through, you probably want to throw those back.